And think about it. Take the word charm. What is a charm? A charm is a spell. And a charm or a spell are used to get some sort of specific outcome, right? Like say you cast a love spell or a love charm on somebody. Ultimately, you're creating something where there may not necessarily have been anything to begin with. So what happens when that charm wears off or that spell wears off or that spell is broken? Hello. Welcome to this live session. So tell me, how has, how has love been for you guys? How has the, the dating scene, the dating world been for you lately? I mean, I'm not even trying to be out there in it. Um, and I know, and that's not, that's just me. That's not like any, having anything to do with like the current, you know, pandemic or anything, but I'm just not even trying to be out there. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to say. I'm just like not trying to be. <laughs> so let's get into this here. Let's see what love messages do we have the collective right now? Do we have for the collective right now? What's going on? What's, what's going on with the collective in terms of love for the moment? Hey, what's up, Tavia? How are you? It's good to see you. All right, love messages for the collective. Anything? Do you guys not want to talk about it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so let's get a little bit more here before we talk a little bit about it. But already I feel like we're talking about something here that somebody that I've, I, I follow quite, uh, quite well, uh, who's a good friend of mine, her name is Betsy. She's a fearless intuition. You know, she posted something recently about being in the dating scene and just like not doing it. And it's interesting because I saw that and... I really resonated with it. I was like, yeah, it's, it's about it. I mean, like keeping it, it's it, 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 being in the dating scene, but like not dating, just being open to like the ideal partner, not stringing people along or not keeping a bunch of doors open, hoping that one will show up in a sense that kind of tells the, the universe that you're probably not really ready for a, a real committed relationship or you're just not ready for a real relationship, you know what I mean? Because it, I, and this is kind of the, the, the message that I got from this post, and this is kind of how I feel about it. I'm not really looking to date a bunch of people or kiss a bunch of frogs hoping one day one will turn into a prince. I would rather stay on my own. I would rather be in my own space. I would rather be doing my thing and allow the universe to bring that person around or allow the situation to, to, to work itself out naturally. Okay, and what I'm where this is coming from here is keys on a ring, many options, decisions, un, uh, dis, uh, I'm sorry, decision, uh, unconventional, string along, and one night stand. And then you have that with sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and then focusing out. But here, sunglasses to me kind of gives me a feeling of like wearing a mask and there is officially a mask card in this deck i am using the love oracle cards here okay but the sunglasses to me is giving me an idea a feeling like you guys are being shaded like you're you're in the dating scene or you're doing something in the dating scene and yet your intentions maybe your intentions are intentions are that hi andrea your intentions are that um are different than what it is you're really aligning with. I hope I'm saying this correctly. Or what it is you really want out of a relationship. It's like you're almost compromising or you're almost shading yourself or you're you're showing a different side of yourself just to ex to feel acceptable or to 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 get to entice somebody, but that's not really who we true who you truly are. The the dating scene, especially nowadays, the dating scene is so wrapped up in uh, I just heard conjecture, but it's also wrapped up in illusion, in fronting, in um, playing a certain role or showing up as a certain person to sound, to seem enticing to someone, to get someone to want to buy what you're selling, right? But then how often do you get even like past maybe the first few months or what I really want to say is past the honeymoon phase and now 
the true colors come out. Now the real person is shown and all of a sudden you're dating someone who is completely different or starkly different from the person that they started to be when you, they, they start, the, the person that they were when you guys started dating or even yourself. You know, how can you, I never really understood how you could in the beginning show something that seems to be desirable but then turn around and hope that the real you is acceptable. Why not show the real you at first, right? Why not just lead with the real you and just put it out there or just be yourself, be naturally who you are and allow somebody to be attracted to that instead. But see, to do that though, it would take time. It would take you, first of all, being comfortable with who you are enough to just let that run free and just let that be your leading principle, right? And then you would just have to allow the universe to move, to move and shake and shift things around for you so that you can, so that you do line up with that person that actually does appreciate the real you, does appreciate you for who you actually are, not the person that you showed yourself to be in the beginning just so you can so just the the person the person that you were that laid the bait for someone to bite all right so let's get into the rest of this reading here what else do we have for the collective here in terms of this okay so we're definitely dealing with the uh <clears throat> in some ways you're dealing you're coming okay what you're coming out of, the phase that you're coming out of, what it is you're moving forward out of is this girl with a snake, which represents the empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used, enabled, enablement or boundaries. But then also girl with a snake is also re uh, reinforcing that message of being charmed. <clears throat> okay. And think about it. Think about it. Take the word charm. What is a charm? A charm is basically boiled down. A charm is a spell and a charm or a spell are used to get some sort of specific outcome, right? But it, it, it kind of like, say you cast a love spell or a love charm on somebody. I don't see that as something that's beneficial. Because ultimately you're creating something where there may not necessarily have been anything to begin with. So what happens when that charm wears off or that spell wears off or that spell is broken? That's literally what we're talking about here in showing a different face than you would show on the regular. Right? You're basically casting a spell or sending out a charm to attract something or someone to you. And then you have to keep that up. Right? What happens when that charm or that spell is broken? What are you left with? So this is not to say that everybody is doing this for selfish reasons. There is, I, I, what I'm feeling in the collective right now is there's definitely a reason for this. And that is this partially this empath or narcissist paradigm. It's we are trained, we are influenced to, we are indoctrinated in the ways of appealing to narcissistic tendencies, okay? So this is what helps drive us to put on a certain face or show up a certain way because you have to please the top tier, the ultimate, right? And so... In terms of that, this is what it feels like many of you or many of us are working on, especially if you are in an energy of not wanting to be in the dating scene or not having good luck in the dating scene, we'll say. This is what you're working on. At the bottom of the deck, you have Hammer, which talks about rebuilding uh, and working on it, okay? But it can also represent sabotage, interrogation, something that's repetitive or persistent, okay? Okay. So moving forward here, we finally, we have self-indulgence, focusing on the self, self-work, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So if you are in this energy of not having a good luck in the dating scene, things just being shitty, and I am feeling like a lot of you are just coming up against people that are just not suitable. Okay, so this is a time for you to work on that self-work, work on that self-appreciation. Self-appreciation is a main theme here. 
Because if you have that self-appreciation, you're not going to worry about how you're perceived on the outside, externally. You're just going to be you because you love who you are, right? Okay. Let's get into some tarot here then. Five shuffles. One. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. It's good to see you. This is two. This is three. Four. And five. Alrighty, kids. So, some tarot to accompany this reading here. Let's see, what do we have for the collective? What other messages can we bring forward? First card out is the lovers. Wow. Overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Oh, thanks, Kiana. All right, we have the Seven of Swords as an overall energy here. And the Seven of Swords is the theme. The energy of the Seven of Swords is the theme in this situation. Because the Seven of Swords is deception. Lying, cheating, backstabbing, stealing, trying to get away with something. Deception and trying to get away with something. So instead of leading with a, a level of deception, why do that? Because that's only going to lead to more anxiety and fear. And it's going to lead to having to keep up a lot of work or do a lot of consistent work to keep up the charade or the facade. Eight of Pentacles to the Six of Wands. Now, the Six of Wands is, yes, is a, is a card of victory. But it's also a card of uh, saving face, keeping up appearance, putting on a show. Okay, Six of Wands is very Leo energy, right? Okay. The two cards that have come out here, first of which being the Lovers. The Lovers is coupled by, or coupled with, the Empress. The Empress is unconditionally loving. The Empress is an energy that says, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you look like. I don't care what you do, what you like to do. I still love you. I still support you. I still see the divine being that you are. I actually, I really love you for who you are. Not necessarily who you want to be or who you strive to be, but who you actually are at any given moment. Now, the, the Empress can be pretty enabling. Okay, that's true. Um, because she's also the type of energy to say, oh, you want a cake? All right, darling, I'll bake you a cake. So she goes, bakes you a cake. She brings you the cake. Five seconds later, you've eaten the whole... You What? You've eaten the whole thing? You want another one? Okay, I'll bake you another one. And she goes and bake... And it just, you know... Um, so, okay, you, I'm, 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 we're not talking about the indulgent side of the Empress, but we are talking about the unconditionally loving side. And the message here between the lovers and the Empress is you have the choice. You have a choice of either vice or virtue. You can play the game and be deceptive and show a side of yourself that isn't naturally who you are. Or you can choose to, the, to, to honor yourself, honor your, your heart and your spirit, and to lead with the person that you are be organic about it right okay let's go a little bit deeper then Ooh, okay ah we have the ace of pentacles in reverse to me, this is feeling like uh, your blockage here. I feel like this is what we're going to talk about in your blockage, as if we aren't we weren't talking about all, talking about that already. Yeah, but this is your blockage. This is a main blockage here. Ace of Pentacles in oops, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool in reverse, and then to the Two of Swords. Okay, sorry, I was just, I, I was looking at the bottom of the deck, uh, continuing on, and it makes sense as to what it's saying, um, but we don't have to talk about it all in specifics, because I was already going to say it anyway, but the blockage here, 
the reason why you're not receiving an offer or the reason why something is not getting off the ground or you're not starting something new, what it is you are blinded to, right, is materialism, king of pentacles. King of pentacles to the nine of swords to the six of pentacles in reverse, okay? So what it is we're feeding into, okay, first of all, I heard we're feeding into the patriarchy. Meh, all right, fine. But what we're also feeding into is just the physical side of things. How things look on paper, okay? Instead of being real about it and just getting down to the nitty gritty. If this were the Queen of Pentacles, to me it would be much different. Because the Queen of Pentacles is a loving and nurturing energy. The King of Pentacles tends to be quite... Materialistic. The King of Pentacles can represent materialism, okay? And it's this fear of not pleasing the King of Pentacles or this materialism that gets us in this place of feeding directly into it, wanting to please that, wanting the approval, seeking that approval, and yet it's not reciprocal because that's not reciprocal. It literally is not reciprocated. Six of Pentacles in reverse. It's all about feeding the monster instead of being involved in a symbiotic relationship with another person. Now, this is not to say that the partner or somebody that you're with right now is uh, a materialistic. What this is talking about is an overall energy, an overarching energy, a collective mindset. Instead of focusing on love and compassion, Instead, we focus on materialism, how things look from the external, okay? Maybe even people's opinions about the situation that lead us astray from love that really could be beautiful, beneficial, long-lasting, lifelong, you know what I mean? Instead of loving for someone for who they are or being in a relationship because you love someone, it's about, hey, Enchanting Mystic Oracle, it's about, instead, it's really become... Being with someone for the status. Hmm. This is interesting. So there is, there seems to be, I'm just going to be real about it. There seems to be a refusal to work on the self. You have the Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Normally, the Nine of Pentacles is a very good card, okay? It talks about sovereignty, independence, abundance, wealth, uh, good luck, good health. Um, and I, wouldn't, I don't even really want to say good luck because luck is what you make it or what you make of it right you make you create your own luck and that nine of pentacles can seem lucky but they're not really lucky they just created the circumstances that they found themselves in okay? that they find themselves in okay but here in the nine of pentacles this just feels like a very rooted energy this feels like it feels like an energy of you've grown so much or you've gone so far you don't want to stop now because you're one away from the ten But then ask yourself, is that 10 the 10 that you actually want? Or is that just going to be part of a system that you fought or so hard or you worked so hard to be in or to get into only to come to realize that it's really not authentic to you to begin with? Think about it this way. How many people get married on false pretenses? <laughs> Your ex. How many, mar get, how many people get married in, on false pretenses really? In, honest, in all honesty, and then end up in divorce, right? And I'm not saying that people don't marry for love and then end up in divorce, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about situations in which people are blocked from finding the true love that they really seek because of a lack of an ability to walk away from what is really no, not serving them, which is effectively keeping a bunch of blockages in your path. Eight of Wands in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse. Eights are also a number of infinity, 
And eight can be a number of abundance. And what I'm feeling is in this situation for whomever this is resonating for, you by continuing to keep working towards something that isn't providing you with what it is that you want, you are cutting yourself off from abundance. And this is even visible here in the Six of Pentacles in reverse, when in which we were saying this materialism that we're trying to appease or 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 play to is not reciprocal because it's not we're not getting back what it is we truly deserve or what it is we truly want. So um I want to get a closing message for us now. So I want to get you a closing message from the lover's oracle. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. All right, closing. <laughs> Don't mind me, you guys. I'm silly. Closing message for the collective here. Enchanted Mystic Oracle just, Oracle just said, yep, I just recently let go fully energetically so that I could make, make way for what should be in your life. And when you say what should be in your life, that's what is in alignment with you that is what is what you truly want in your life that's what should be in your life not what others say should or should not be in your life because quite frankly those others are not living your life you are living your life this deck is like all disgruntled I'm too busy paying attention to y'all and not <laughs> that's okay all right let's try this again getting a closing message here for the collective Closing message, please, Spirit. Closing message for the collective, for this collective love reading. Yes, collective love reading. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got for the collective here? Okay, we're going to we're gonna take all of these. I'm going to stop there. We have a number of them, which is good. All right, first closing message that we have for the collective here in terms of this love reading. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Perfect. Second message here we have. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Beautiful. We have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Excellent. And then last one, you may not un always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And that's what I really feel like the truth of this message is for the collective right now. This feels like if you are having like serious trouble in relationships or things are just not working out, you maybe you, you find yourself trying to force the issue or trying to make things happen instead of allowing things to happen naturally and it's just not getting you anywhere, then that's a message assigned to stop, to just to just fall back a little. You know, don't don't try to force it. If it's not going to happen naturally, then just don't then, it, then it's not going to happen. Then don't try and force it to happen. But also for many of you, this feels like a moment where you're being guided to stop looking externally for your validation or for love and to start looking internally from that. Because once you find that internally and once you're able to generate that internally and you just do it on a regular basis, it's going to attract more love to you and when you're ready for that real relationship or that next step in the in the relationship or whatnot the opportunity will present itself that ace of pentacles that came out before which was reversed will present itself it's so interesting because we do have a bonus message here and it's literally what i was just saying wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its course. And when this card came down, it came down, it came out face down. So I didn't see the message of this card before I started channeling that. So uh, there you go. Yeah. 